Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and in this video I want to give you guys a guide on Battle for Azeroth Pathfinder Achievement Part 1. I feel like it's worth making a video on Pathfinder just to make sure everybody is aware exactly what needs to be done, at least in a part 1 of the achievement. A lot of people in Legion find themselves going back to old content that nobody really runs and try to speed through the story quests and story achievements ASAP, where for some people it took them between 5 hours and 8 hours to complete the whole damn thing in a single sitting. Instead, it's a lot easier to do the content in bite-sized chunks as Blizzard intended. So this video is really going to be a way for you guys to follow exactly what is needed to be done in order to keep up with the Pathfinder achievement and not find yourself stranded a week or two or even a couple months into the expansion. Let's take a look at the easier achievements first. So first one is Battle for Azeroth Explorer. This one is very simple and chances are you'll basically accidentally end up doing this. As you quest through all the zones as Horde or Alliance, chances are you will unlock most of the areas for just about every single zone. As you unlock world quests and explore the opposite factions islands, you should be able to get most of the areas completed. But if after a couple days of doing world quests in the enemy areas, you find yourself not finding the achievement fully complete, not completing every single zone, what you should do is navigate to the link down in description below. On that link you will click on the zone that you haven't fully completed and then in wowhead area you gotta go to the video section for that zone and find a video where it has a player running to every single point in that zone that you have to explore. And usually you can kind of just follow your checklist to make sure that you explored every single one of those zones. Once you hit those points, you should be able to log them into your achievement and get the credit for it. Fairly easy achievement, but there are some corner areas, especially for me in Drustvar, that I had to kind of go out of my way in order to discover something that I think would have been more natural if I were an Alliance player. And I would guess it will be a very, very similar experience as an Alliance player in the Horde areas. The second part of the achievement for Pathfinder is Azerothian Diplomat. This one is pretty easy and this one is something that will just simply take time. The best way to unlock this one, which means you have to farm rep with everybody, is do every single war quest for the faction that you need. World quests reward you a fair amount of rep. Also checking in on your command table for extra rep is also a good idea. Making sure to hit every single world quest or at least the ones that reward your rep for that faction is also a good way for you to speed up the process. Another reason for you to get the rep done anyway, especially for Honor Bound or 7th Legion, is the fact that the brand new allied races like the Macho, Orcs and the Dark Iron Dwarves are unlocked. So I feel like that should give you enough of a reason to do every single world quest. I spent about at least two weeks now of BFA doing every single world quest until just about every single reputation is for me at revered there is one reputation that is always going to be behind for everybody and that's going to be champions of azeroth for champions of azeroth i recommend you guys to head over to your auction house before you begin farming rep for everyone and snag yourself a contract for champions of azeroth it shouldn't be too expensive of course it depends on the server and the prices but this will give you 10 extra rep for every single world quest that you do which allows you to slowly but surely, after you know however many world quests you end up doing, slowly help you work that rep towards Champions of Azeroth. Extremely helpful if you're doing every single world quest whenever it's available, since you're going to be farming rep for just about every single faction anyway. Once you get all the factions to at least revered, then that's where you can really stop for the Pathfinder part of achievement, but passively you will still generate enough rep in order to eventually hit Exalted and unlock more goodies from the vendors. Third one on the list is Wide World of Quests. This one is very simple, just do a hundred different world quests on Cool Tiras or Zandalar. If you're somebody farming rep, you should be able to get a lot of the world quests really bracked up fairly quickly. So this one is kind of straightforward. The next one is going to be faction specific. For the Alliance it's called Cool Tourist and for the Horde it's called Zandalar Forever. Those are going to be your main story for the different factions that you're trying to recruit for Alliance or the Horde and you're going to get a nice cutscene and a nice event towards the end. Without spoiling anything, if you're somebody who wants to make sure you got every single quest that you're trying to follow for Zandalar Forever or Cool Tourist, I will have links for both of those down in the description below so if you're not sure exactly where you're at, feel free to refer 
forward to the links in description. You'll want to make sure to do these achievements as well because they unlock you dungeons for the Horde and Alliance. For the Horde it's going to be King's Rest and for Alliance it's Siege of Borealis. Fairly awesome dungeons with a fair decent amount of loot. I feel like King's Rest is a little bit more exciting because you can get some beefy weapons and a mount while Borealis is a um, fairly interesting one and it's kind of cool to see cool Tiras all fiery and uh, under attack but you will want to get those done for either faction and eventually as you get more rep with either the honor bound or the seventh legion you will eventually do the war campaign to unlock the story and the dungeon for the other faction finally we have the war campaign whether you are doing ready for war or ready for war which both have the exact same name for the horde or alliance this achievement and this quest line is with your faction the honor bound for the horde and the seventh legion for alliance the way to unlock the storyline is to go to your boat where you have your command table at and to talk to any of the npcs with orange quest markers whether it's exclamation whether it is uh, question marks to turn in you got to make sure to follow the story for the war campaign generally if you're not sure exactly where you are with war campaign navigate to your map and look at the top right that tells you exactly what you need to do there will be certain breakpoints and this quest for the war campaign kind of tie in with some of the other pathfinder stuff like the reputation one for the honor bound or the seventh legion you will have to unlock the reputation for the seventh legion or the honor bound in order to progress through the war campaign the fastest way of gaining that rep is to do every single world quest in the opposite factions zones as those reward you a ton of reputation from either one of the factions as a side note as you establish more outposts and you as you upgrade them through your command table you will unlock certain quests that have like a hey kill this certain rare kill this certain boss usually requires maybe two to three people to accomplish as you do those bounty quests for those npcs and you'll have to look through different outposts to see if one is available those give you a fat chunk of reputation for the honor bound or the seventh legion so look out for those every time you are on an outpost in the enemy islands if all the other parts of the video aren't even useful then you guys should still be able to use the wowhead.com slash flying website in order to plug in your region plug in your server plug in your character name and it will tell you exactly which quests which reputations you are not finished with so if you all got lost during any parts of the video, just head over to wowhead.com slash flying. I'll have the link down in the description of the video below and plug in your character. It'll tell you exactly how far you've done all the aspects. If you need on your rep, if you need any other achievements, exactly what you are missing if you ever get lost. Once you complete Pathfinder Part 1, your mount speed increases by 20% while in Cool Tiras and Zandalar, which means you'll be able to get your world quest done a little bit faster, you'll be able to move around a little bit faster, and you'll be able to catch up to others trying to run away from you in war mode every single time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is part 1 of the achievement. Once the part 2 comes out, I think I'll make a guide updating you guys exactly on what you need to do for the part 2. Exactly which reputations and which quests and which storylines you need to accomplish in order to finally earn your flying. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully nobody gets left behind when flying is available. Thank you guys. I'll see all of you in another video.